We're going to call everybody's attention once again. We're joined by uh, one of the Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency Caucus's deputy co-chairs, uh, Senator Chris Van Hollen from Maryland, one of my senators. Um, we'll welcome him to the lectern in just a moment to say a few words, but I, have to, I, I gave him a warning. I'm going to call him out. Uh, I had a chance to go to the vice president's event uh, in Baltimore, Coppin State, go Eagles, uh, on Friday. And Senator Van Hollen was among the speakers, along with Representative Pallone and Senator Markey and Senator Carper, who's hilarious, good. really funny. But I have to call out Senator Van Hollen because uh, the subject of Friday's event was the Greenhouse Gas Reduction Fund and the um, sort of the Clean Energy Network, aka Clean Energy Bank, National Climate Bank, whatever you want to call it. Senator Van Hollen explained it more clearly and more succinctly and more, it was the best. The best introduction of an extremely complicated subject I've heard. I don't know that he'll do that now. Probably too much to do that, you know, twice in four days. But Senator, thank you so much for your leadership on the caucus. Thanks to Shelby and the rest of your great staff for being just fantastic people to work with. And uh, thanks for being one of my senators. It's, well, thank it's great. You. Thank you. Well, thank you, Dan. Thank you for that um, generous introduction. It's great to have you as a constituent, Maryland constituent, so you know where to find me, I know where to find you. Yes. Um, thank you for your leadership, all of you, on this critical manner of uh, making sure that we address uh, climate change, which has become even more urgent, of course, uh, since we last gathered uh, together, which I think was when, 20, 20, 2019. So good to see everybody in person um, and having been in the House and served in the House, and I enjoyed every moment of it. When you used to have them over in the House side, I'm really glad that you're over on the Senate side uh, right now. Look, I'm going to be um, I'm going to be very brief because uh, I, I do want to pick up on what uh, Dan said about the progress that we are making, and you're all such an important part of that effort. Uh, it was great to have the Vice President uh, in Baltimore at Coppin State University last Friday. Uh, as they're un unveiling uh, the greenhouse gas reduction funds. Um, the reason, uh, Dan, that I'm able to explain this is because I've been doing it for a long time. Uh, I introduced the Green Bank Bill back in 2009. Um, and thank all of you who have been with us during that period of time. We actually had that included in some form back during the uh, Waxman-Markey Bill which, as you know, uh, did not move out of this body in the United States Senate uh, back then. Uh, so we've kept at it in different forms. Um, and you just had to write for, wait for the right political in, uh, alignment. But it is a lesson, I think, uh, in that in order to be able to take advantage of the right political alignment, which we did have uh, last year, you need to have laid the groundwork for doing it. So I really want to thank all of you who have been working so hard for so many years to try to make sure we get the policy right. We have lots of great engineers. We have great innovation. That is really helping drive uh, our efforts forward, that basic innovation. But it obviously helps the efforts of the innovators um, if we can have policy uh, that incentivizes uh, all of us to move in the right direction to tackle climate change, ad address, you know, produce more clean energy, more energy efficiency, uh, which as I always say, uh, we have to do our very best to avoid the bad things from happening. But in doing so, there are huge opportunities uh, for moving into this area of clean energy. We've been talking about this together as a group for years and years, you know that. But I do think we need to continue to focus on the positive in terms of job creation, uh, in terms of lowering the cost of energy. Uh, through more uh, efficiency uh, and renewable energy. And you're all part of that really very, very important uh, mission. So thank you for what you're doing. In Maryland, um, we're becoming one of the offshore wind capitals of the country. Uh, the incentives in the Inflation Reduction Act, the tax incentives, are allowing two huge new offshore uh, wind projects uh, to go forward. And I do think it's a really good metaphor um, in Maryland for the transition from sort of the industrial age manufacturing to the clean energy age because they are now manufacturing wind turbines for these offshore wind mills at the site where Bethlehem Steel used to be in Sparrows Point. Bethlehem Steel was once the largest steel producer in the United States. 
And you, if you go there today, you can look at buildings where people literally left their work when it went bankrupt. Uh, now it's becoming a center. It's a, called Trade Point Atlantic, but it's a center uh, for all sorts of new economy uh, investments, including, very importantly, offshore wind. So we've got that. We have the Greenhouse Gas Reduction Fund. Uh, we have the Hope for Homes legislation um, that Peter Welch, now over here, he just gave his maiden speech uh, on the Senate floor. So if he gets up here, tell me he did a really good job, which he did. Um, but he and I, he was in the House then. I was in the Senate uh, last two years, obviously. And we introduced the Hope for Homes uh, legislation with a number of our colleagues, which will also uh, help produce, I think, a transformation in energy efficiency um, across the country. So I've gone on longer than I planned. I really wanted to come up here to thank all of you uh, because all of you who push the right policies um, are, are really the, the folks who, who keep the ball going um, in year in and year out, um, in good political times and bad, and I'm talking about political times for moving clean energy forward. Um, and you're the innovators and engineers, uh, many of you, uh, who participate at least in the expo uh, part of this, and I'm grateful for all of, all of that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, we look forward to continue to work with you. And I want to thank my other colleagues uh, who have been part of the um, Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency Caucus. And thank you to EESI and uh, all your colleagues. Take care.